transactions. Say these are the transactions which take place. What is the first transaction? For example, capital introduced among the five lakhs. Next, you have cash deposited into bank amounting to four lakhs. Similarly, buy bought furniture and money has moved out of the bank because we issued a check of one lakh. Buy goods, issue check, one lakh. These are several transactions. Similarly, buy goods on credit, pay rent, sell goods. So these are certain transactions and we will see whether assets is always equal to liabilities in all these situations. First, what has happened? Uh, capital has been introduced for 5 lakh. So basically what happens in the business? Cash of amount 5 lakh comes in. What is cash? It is an asset. So cash of 5 lakhs is an asset. What is the liability? Is there a liability? Yes. The business. Tomorrow if the business were to wind up, who gets this cash of 5 lakh? The proprietor gets this cash of 5 lakh. So this money, this money, this capital which is brought in by the proprietor is a liability of the business to its owner. Liability of the business to its owner. So there is a liability or rather instead liability to owner has been, is referred to as capital. The equation here we are framing as asset minus liability equal to capital. Asset minus liability equal to capital. So we don't have another liability but we have a capital liability to the owner of 5. So cash asset of 5, liability nil, 5 minus 0 we have capital of 5. Next, deposited into bank. When we deposit 4 lakhs into the bank, our cash comes down and it becomes only 1 lakh. But now we have money in the bank. We have given 4 lakhs money to the bank. So that is an asset. Why is it an asset? Because I, the bank will pay me this money anytime I want. Tomorrow, if I have to close my business and collect this money, this is my money. Uh, this money is receivable from the bank. Receivables are assets. Payables are liability. If money is expected to be received, that is a receivable. If I have to pay money, that is a payable. So our asset has now become cash is 1 and bank is 4. Capital, there is no change, continues at 5. So again, the equation is satisfied. Asset minus liability is equal to capital. Next, bought furniture, issued check. How much? 1 lakh. The moment I buy furniture, I have now an additional asset, furniture of 1. Cash continues to be 1. But my bank balance has now come down to 3 because I have issued a check. Money will go out of my bank. The banker on my behalf has paid for the furniture, has honored the check and money goes out of my bank account. So my bank balance comes down. My cash remains at 1 lakh. My bank balance is now 3 lakh. But I have a furniture of 1 lakh. Totally, I get 5 lakhs. Liabilities are nil and my capital, there is no change continues to be 5. Then I buy goods. Suppose I buy goods for 1 lakh. Again issue check. Again cash continues to be the same. But the bank has come down. Bank balance has come down further to 2 lakhs. But I have furniture of 1 lakh and goods of 1 lakh. So my assets now consist of 1 lakh cash, 2 lakh balance in bank, 1 lakh furniture and 1 lakh goods purchased. Again, I've got a total of 5. Capital, no change, continues to be 5. So, so far the equation is always is being satisfied. Equation is being satisfied. Let us say I buy goods on credit. What is buying goods on credit? I buy goods from a supplier. Do not pay him immediately. Promise to pay him later. Therefore, the business now has a liability to this supplier. It's called a creditor. The supplier to whom I owe money is called a creditor. Now what happens? Goods have increased. Cash continues, no change. Bank, I have not made any payment. Balance remains at 2. Furniture remains. But since I bought goods worth 2 lakhs, the goods have gone up to 3. If I add now, I get 1 plus 2 
plus 1 plus 3. Again giving me 7. <clears throat> now this is 7. But now I have a liability, a creditor for 2. The business owes the creditor, the supplier, 2 lakhs. Asset minus liability, 7 minus 5, uh, sorry, 7 minus 2 gives us a capital of 5. No change in capital. Capital remains at 5. Again, the equation is satisfied. Paid rent. Paid rent of 0.2 lakhs. 20,000 rent has been paid. If you pay this in cash, 1 lakh minus 20,000. Now I have a cash balance of only 80,000. 0.8 lakhs. Bank remains the same. Furniture is the same. Goods is the same. So what do we have now? 2 plus 1, 3, 6.80 is what we have here. Assets. Liabilities continue to be 2. Creditors, no change. So assets minus liability, 6.8 minus 2 should be 4.8. What has happened in the capital? What are the two sides of the transaction when we paid rent? Cash went out. What happened? Rent is an expense. If, I, if this is an expense, it is a loss. Who will bear this loss? The proprietor. Therefore, the amount that the business owes to the proprietor will now come down. Capital, less expense. So, you get here. Four point eight. Six point eight minus two. Four point eight. Capital is also four point eight. Remember, our equation was assets minus liabilities is equal to capital. To capital, you can always add income and reduce expense because all profits belong to the proprietor. Let us take one more common transaction where there is a sale of the goods. So what happens? You sell all the goods for 4.2. You sell all the goods for 4.2. What does that mean? How much goods did you have? We had goods of 3 lakhs. If you notice, goods were of 3 lakhs. We sell the goods for 4.2. So what happens then? Goods of 3 lakh go out. No goods now. Minus 3. But how much money comes in? 4.2 comes in. What is the profit made? Profit is 1.2. To whom does this profit belong? Belongs to the proprietor. Proprietor is nothing but capital. Yes or no? So let us see what happens. Cash remains at point. 80 sold all goods at 4.2 assuming that you have got a check for it it's not been mentioned let us say it's for check yeah so the bank balance goes up now plus 4.2 so 6.2 furniture is the same but goods of 3 lakh gone asset comes in 4.2 the profit of 1.2 is added here so capital 5 Expense minus 0.2, profit of 1.2. So how much does that give us? It gives us 6. <clears throat> this is 6 what we have here. 0 0.8, 6.2 is 7, plus 1 is 8. 8 minus 2, 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. So we see capital introduced, money deposited into bank, Buying of furniture, buying of goods for cash or on credit, paying rent, selling the goods and making a profit. In all these situations, our accounting equation of asset minus liabilities equal to capital is always satisfied. This is the accounting equation and the rules of passing accounting entries or the double entry system is based on this accounting equation.